three rounds in, three race winners, three red plates, and nine different guys on the podium. Chase Sexton nails his first career victory in the Premier class. However, it seemed that all the action in San Diego was happening way behind the lead pack. Two penalties were levied this morning to two former 250 Supercross champions, adding insult to injury to a championship contender that's thus far stayed out of trouble, and a down on his luck veteran that is struggling to get going in what could be his final season of Monster Energy Supercross. Justin Barsha was penalized a single position and in turn a single championship point and will lose the red plate as the series goes back to Anaheim for the second time this season. And Justin Bogle in turn has been disqualified from the main event, forfeiting his two championship points and losing any prize money that came with it. So where did all of this begin? Roughly two minutes into the 450 main event, the camera panned to the number 19 Suzuki laying prone and alone in the middle of a bull corner before zooming out to reveal a very shaken and frustrated Justin Bogle. The Twisted T Suzuki rider remounted his bike in dead last, quickly went a lap down, and the next time we saw him, he was riding on the inside as Justin Barsha lapped him, and he appeared to have a mechanical issue or a clutch slip that lunged his bike forward, making contact with Barsha. Well, it appears the AMA has taken issue with Bogle's apparent mechanical issue and doesn't think it was such an honest and innocent mistake. It turns out, as Bogle revealed in his post-race interview with Steve Mathis, that his crash from earlier in the race was not self-inflicted. I got cleaned out. I missed that part. I was after the finish. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got cleaned pretty hard. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm pretty sore after that one for sure. Yeah. So, um, on video somewhere? I need to see the video of this. I don't know, but I, you know, what are you going to do? You know what I mean? So some people are just idiots. And although he didn't name the assailant on the spot, and there is no available video footage of the incident as of yet, some witnesses have told the story. As reported by Racer X's Kellen Brower on Twitter, it appears that it was Justin Barsha who sent Bogle flying 20 feet from his bike where we saw him laying in pain. Even without video evidence, I think Barsha would be convicted by most juries in this case as he has easily the worst reputation in the pits as far as hard racing and contact passes go. Further into Bogle's interview, he denies any level of retaliation and even Ricky Carmichael himself on the live broadcast as well as the main event highlight on YouTube treated it as an accident. But you can almost hear Bogle's tongue-in-cheek grin through the audio as he plays dumb to the situation. Obviously, both riders are at fault in their separate incidents, and neither one of them had to think they were actually going to get out of this unscathed. Barsha getting into Anderson at A1 is one thing, because El Hombre is also in a title hunt and can't afford to throw things away, but Barsha should know better than to take these sort of shots on guys with nothing to lose, as I'm sure Bogle's revenge felt a whole hell of a lot better than those two championship points will do him. Personally, I think Bogles is too harsh and Barsha's should have been stiffer. I can't wait to see the GoPro footage from Barsha's POV when it drops in a few days. Hopefully they don't cut that part out. Let me know in the comments if you think both penalties are appropriate or if you would have done it differently. Thank you for watching Rotomoto. My name is Donnie. Keep it pinned to the weekend. You retaliated and now... Yeah. Did I? Yeah. I did? Yeah, I saw that part. What happened? I saw the end of it where, you like, where you like sent the bike. I did? Yeah. I didn't crash again. Okay. All right. I don't know... I don't know either. No, I don't know.